Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. I have just finished the previous vlog and I'm just starting off the next one now. Um, as I thought, whilst I'm standing here, I've just had quite a few packages come in. I've got one, two, three, four. So it's quite a good <laughs> posty day today. So I thought I'll quickly unbox them. I'm actually not entirely sure what's in all of these. Um, but I thought I would unbox them with you, show you what I got. I also just got home from down the street um, with Camilla, went for lunch with a friend, and then I quickly ducked into Target. I needed to get like another sleeping bag for her. We were in a Queensland this week. It's gonna be really hot there, like a lot hotter than here. Victoria hasn't caught up on the whole, it's meant to be spring. Um, so I think it's like 32, 33 degrees. So a lot hotter and her sleeping bag that she uses now is like a winter one. So I needed to um, get a bigger size and like a summer one, a thinner one. So I got that. I also picked a few, picked up a few other things from Target. So I'll show you those in a moment. But yeah, I thought I'd unbox these. So I've got this little um, package. Now this is from a gorgeous Australian label called, now I just want to, hopefully I pronounce this right. I think it's Toja, T-O-J-H-A. I will link everything down below as well. But they reached out to me and kindly have gifted me this absolutely stunning dress. And they've just got some really gorgeous designs, really different as well. And I love supporting, um, yeah, introducing Toja. I love supporting like new labels, Australian brands and stuff like that. So it says, introducing Toja, a vision of ageless, contemporary, timeless trend is the soul of the Toja aesthetic. Um, creating expressional yet essential designs for ready to wear collections that include, include premium denim, basics, lounge, and occasional wear. Anyway, I have chosen this stunning dress. I saw this on their Instagram. And I think it comes in black as well, but this color, so beautiful. So hopefully I will try, um, I'll go upstairs later and try all of this on and hopefully I can insert some clips here, but oh, it's so gorgeous. It's like this maxi dress. Um, it looks a bit, I think it's looking like yellow in the camera, but it's definitely not. It's like a really gorgeous ivory bone color. So it's like a little mini, mini dress like this. It's kind of got like a little scalloped scalloped edge along with um, neckline which I absolutely love so it's like a little mini dress like that and then this just fell out at the bottom but this is what is so cool about this dress it also comes with this bottom piece it's like a sheer um, bottom piece and this attaches I don't know how it even attaches oh you just wear it underneath you can wear this dress two ways which I just thought was so cool such a cool design feature so you can wear it um the mini as I already showed you or you can attach it at the bottom and it kind of like oh it's so hard to see I'll have to try it on but it kind of has this flowy bit at the bottom which is really sheer I don't know if you'll be able to see this on my phone but hopefully you can I don't think, can you see that there? It's kind of like the mini dress and then that's at the bottom. I just think that's such a cool way you could either wear it with like little white sandals, tan flats or something like for a really casual look or I'm also picturing it. So I could perhaps potentially wear this to the wedding that I'm going to because the um, wedding's actually got a dress code of neutrals only, which you will all know suits me totally fine. I'm very excited about this dress code. I was planning to wear, I've got a Shona Joy dress that I wore for my baby shower and I wanted to get another wear out of it because I just love it. But I obviously wore that when I was pregnant. So I was wanting to wear that, but I might try this on and see what we think about this as well. So I will show you once I try this on. Next up, another box here. This is from a brand called Babina, which I'm really excited to show you. Um, it is a little bag for all you mums out there, mums and dads. I'm excited. It comes with this gorgeous packaging. Also a really cute little dust bag, which I love. So they've got a really cute range. I've chosen the black, um, which I will style up and show you properly. But basically, it's like a really cute little leather bag. And it's got this... Um, just open it up there. So it comes with a black leather strap in here somewhere. Yeah, these little straps and they go either side. So basically it's like a little pram caddy. So this can attach to the handlebar of your pram, which I just think is so cool. I've seen quite a few of these online, but I just thought this was like a really kind of premium luxury looking one because it's black leather, like it sort of blends in. Then on the inside, oh wow. 
So this is kind of like, I take my nappy bag with me, but if you're just like quickly going down the street, you don't need to take everything. You could easily fit inside here. So, oh, so it also comes with a black, oh yeah, a whole, like a long leather strap. So you could just wear the bag as um, a crossbody bag, which I think is so cool. But hopefully you can see on the inside, it's got little compartments. So it's got like a spot for your phone, little spot for maybe a bottle, some wipes. Also comes with a change map. So cool. So yeah, really great for like mums and dads. You could easily use this just like as a crossbody, like everyday handbag. But I just love things that are made for parents that are functional yet stylish. Like some of the things I see, I'm just like, why can't they make that look <laughs> look nice so that when you're wearing it, you don't look really daggy. <laughs> so yeah, change mat. It's got little compartments either side for like a bottle. So handy, such a good design as well. So I will leave the link for every, all of this stuff down below as well because I just think that's such a great um, idea. It's also such a good, like it would be a great baby shower gift or something like that. I just think it's something different as well that perhaps you haven't thought of, but it's also like really stylish. Um, so yeah, absolutely love that. Then next up, this huge box from The Iconic has just arrived as well. So we'll get into that one and see what we've got in here. So it's like past the parcel inside is another box. So let's get rid of that one. So it says Atmos in here is it's a so this is Atmos in here's a latest collaboration with Tina. If you're not following Tina over on Instagram, you definitely have to check her out. She has so many gorgeous outfits, bargains, her handle is trust trashed to treasure, I think. Coco. You can hear Coco in the background having a soup. So they've just done a gorgeous new collection, which I'm so excited to check out. So it says the items in this box was hand selected for you to enjoy life's special moments. Love, Tina. We're so excited to share with you our first collection designed in collaboration with Tina of Trust to Treasure, Atmos in Here, and Tina launches on the 27th of September, 2022, which is today, I think. Am I right? Um, where's my phone? <laughs> Yes, it launches today. So hopefully this vlog goes up this week so you can shop all of this. I will leave everything down below for you um, so that you don't miss out if you want to check anything out. But let's see what she has so kindly selected for me. Oh, there's like a little, what have we got here? So cute, a little cheek and lip tint. Oh, it looks so pretty. Let's check that out. Ooh, so nice. So, open up the little parcel. Ooh, she definitely got the vibe. She knows my colors well. So, first up, what have we got here? Ooh, so nice. We've got this gorgeous little black linen crop top. So, it's like a shirt across the top. It's got these absolutely gorgeous little puff sleeves. I love that. It looks like we've got some matching pants, potentially. Oh, yes, some gorgeous black linen pants. How nice are they? I can picture those matching back so nicely with this little crop. So cute. These might be good for my holiday. Um, as always, I'll leave this stuff down below so you can shop. Please go and support her collection because it's so exciting whenever people, like you get to work with other brands. So it's really important to go and support other people and support creators. So I'll leave those linked down below. Hopefully I'll get some time to also go and film some little cutaways of me trying them on. And we've got something white. Oh, this is so cute. It's like a little shirt. Oh, so nice. It's like this gorgeous little cropped. Oh, it's not too cropped actually. It's just like a normal short sleeve shirt, like a white linen cotton vibe. But look at the sleeves. You guys know that I'm such a sucker for like a cute sleeve or just something like a bit different. Like I love just classic styles, which is just really classic, but it's just got like a little something extra. So cute. Thank you so much to the lovely Tina. She's so lovely. So please go and check out her new collection. I'll definitely be styling up, styling this up with some gorgeous like linen shorts for summer or like a dress. I just think that's so classic. This would also be really good for workwear as well. Like the perfect kind of like work shirt. So definitely love that. I'm making such a mess in the kitchen. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. 
It's Harry and Camilla taking over Paige Kennedy Instagram, YouTube, whatever social media she's been filming for you lately. We just found the camera out, so. We're taking over Camilla Cam. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, loves the camera. We're just here cooking up dinner in the kitchen. Yep. We've had what I'm assuming is a massive clothing haul today. Plenty of parcels arriving. Her social media has just been on fire lately. She's put in a ton of work, uh, working with a few brands. So keep your eyes peeled. There's a few exciting collabs on the way. It is exciting. Get up and about. Um, yeah, she's just put in a lot of work the last couple of weeks. So it's it's pretty exciting to see a few more parcels rocking up and a bit more business on the way. It's really good for the, all the socials and just to. Just refreshing to see all the energy that she's putting back into it. She's bouncing out of bed in the mornings, couldn't be prouder. So make sure you stay tuned. You do not want to miss what the rest of 2022 has in store for Paige Kennedy, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, the lot. Like, <laughs> subscribe, do whatever you need to do because you do not want to miss this. Morning guys, it's currently Saturday at the moment. Hopefully you can see here. Say hi Jackie. Yeah. Okay. Um, Jack and I are just getting ready for the day. It's Saturday. Mum, my mum and dad are actually away for the weekend. Harry's currently at work. We're about to go see him at work, aren't we? Yeah, yeah. Yep, you're gonna go do your work? Yeah. Good job. Um yeah, so we're about to go see Harry soon. I don't know if I've mentioned this on here, but anyway, Harry is in real estate and today's calling an auction so we thought we'd go check that out um but yeah we're just hanging out for the weekend i'm actually going back to work on monday i feel like i haven't vlogged properly for quite a few weeks i've just had like so much going on so so much to update you guys on but yeah i'm going back to work on monday just see how i go i'm currently just going to go back two days a week um just like just to see how I'm, how i cope with it but i'm feeling so sad not because of like I really enjoy my job and stuff but just that total mum guilt of like all other parents will relate to this but yeah she's just so little still she's nine months but my mum has two days off so she's gonna look after her so I'm not feeling as stressed because she doesn't have to go into daycare which I feel super super fortunate for I feel super fortunate very grateful that we don't have to go down that route yet um, so anyway I'm just spending the weekend sort of like getting organized um, just really want to like catch up on everything before I sort of go back to work. I just want to feel really organized and structured so I can get back into a tiny bit of routine. Um, I've just washed my hair, did a bit of a blow wave with the Dyson. Also, I got my hair done this week. It was the first time getting the extensions lift, like redone, lifted. I think I mentioned that in the last vlog. You have to get them done every eight to ten weeks. I think this was eight. See Jack singing in the background. Um, yeah, so they just like take them out, lift them up. But I got quite a bit cut off. I don't know if you can tell, but I got probably like that much cut off. Um, I just wanted like a really good chop. I wanted a bit more like framing pieces. So these, like these bits here around the face are a bit more like just shorter. I don't know. I just feel like I wanted a bit off, just a bit easier to maintain. So I've just sort of working out. I can't stop touching it. You know, when you get your hair done and you're just kind of like, it's not sitting exactly how you used to. So I've just like popped my Dyson through and um, yeah. Anyway, super natural, super nice. We are off. Um, yeah, so we're going to Harry's auction. Then we've got to go do a few jobs down the street. I want to go and get some photos printed off at Kmart. Um, some of like Camilla's newborn photo shoot, which makes me feel so emotional. Oh my gosh. Um, but anyway, I'm wanting to get some like little photo frames um, for the new house. I'm just starting to collect bits for that. Then we're actually going around to the house this afternoon um, to check it out. So I'm going to give you guys a proper update. Like so much is happening. It's so nearly, not nearly there, but like a few weeks away, hopefully a few months. But like the cabinetry is all in, like it's just looking so amazing. And I can finally start to visualize, like see it all come together. Like I've spoken so much about all this year, basically it's taken so long. Um, yeah, how the process has been like, I've 
you know, and I've visualized and designed everything in my mind, but just seeing it like actually come together is that I don't know why that's not focusing. Um, it's just like so, so exciting. So I'm feeling so hopeful that we can, Harry and I would love to be in before Christmas. Like even if it's like a mad rush, which it will be, um, even if it's like not fully finished, there's obviously a lot of things, finishing touches that we haven't, um, you know, won't be able to get finished. Like all the lighting probably won't be in, although you'll be able to see when we go later. Um, there's heaps of down lights have been put in all the rooms just to add some like brightness, but the actual fixtures in all of the rooms probably won't be here in time. The drapes and curtains and everything, that won't be done until next year. That's fine though. Um, but yeah, all of those finishing things won't be done, but I'm just happy if we can move in and start organizing stuff. Um, our last house that we lived in, we moved, so it's probably like three years ago now. We were there for two years and we've lived here for a year. Yep. So when we first moved into that, we purchased it in October-ish and we did some renovations, like much different to these renovations. I'm not sure if you guys have followed me for that long or been watching the vlogs, but the renovations were much more like we did some of them. Like we got the flooring done, the whole house got painted, which we did a tiny bit, but mostly my mum like was amazing. She did so much painting. Um, and we just like did that the kitchen, um, all of that kind of stuff. But anyway, so we did that for about like a month and two months. And then we did this mad rush to try and get in for Christmas. We actually spent our first ever night in the house on Christmas Eve. Like we did this mad rush so that we could be in there for Christmas. So this kind of has the same feeling as that. Like we keep joking, oh, it's gonna be like, you know, house, the same as the last house where we're rushing to get things in for Christmas, but it's a bit different this time. We've got a baby with us. Um, but anyway, I'm just like so excited to get in there and unpack all of our stuff, like all of my things, most of my clothes, just our house stuff is all in storage. Like I kind of forget what we've even got. Like I just want to have our own space again, our own stuff. Um, yeah, and start unpacking. So I cannot wait. I've got so much like content and stuff planned and I just know that I'll be able to like, yeah, catch you guys up on so much more once we move in. So we'll show you that this afternoon. I'm so excited. I also got my ring back um, last week. Yeah, last week. I'm so excited. It, so I haven't had it for about like four months or something. So it kind of feels like we just got engaged again because it was getting resized and like altered. So, so excited to have that back. But speaking of jewelry, I'm actually so sad to even mention this. But if you've ever lost something sentimental, you totally feel me. The other day I was getting my hair done and one of my, I noticed one of my little mini diamond studs that Harry got me for Christmas just gone and I love them so much like I've worn them every single day since they're just like such a classic and I just love wearing classic bits every day so like I don't really swap them out I take them out each night but like I've just worn them so much anyway one of them was gone and can't find it like we had a look but oh, just so sad like I honestly was sitting there and I wanted to cry <laughs> and I feel so silly I as soon as I told Harry he was just like it's so fine, like, you know, it's only like um, a thing we can like replace or whatever. And then he was mocking me because I just felt really emo like upset. Not so much because of, obviously they're just things. It was more so that he got it for me and it was just like a bit of a sentimental thing. Um, and there's reasons behind it. Anyway, he kept joking about like, you know, when Kim loses her diamond earring in the ocean. And I'm like, well, it wasn't that kind of diamond. It wasn't like $40,000 diamond. But yeah, so he kept joking saying, people are dying and you're worrying about Kim, there are people that are dying. Um, but anyway, so that's really sad. I want to go into the jewelers and see if they still have those ones or they can source one. I don't know. I just feel really sad. Anyway, that's what's happening today. And yeah, Jack and I are just hanging out. Aren't we, Jackie? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, take you along for the weekend. Yeah. I also wanted to show you what arrived yesterday. So I got this really lovely package from Furla, which I just feel so grateful for, like so excited. I've loved this brand for so many years. I've got quite a few of their pieces and I'm so excited. Oh, let me try and open this. I'm not very good at doing that one-handed. Their new timepiece, which I just had to show you. It is so stunning. Um, I love like mixed metals, which... I just think this is so stunning. I don't know if I can get it out. So it's got this gorgeous like two-tone metal and 
I know I'm not much of a color person, but this kind of gave me like the Rolex green vibes, which I just think is so classic. So I absolutely love like the green. So I'm so excited. I'm going to take that into the jewelers as well and see if they can like, it's obviously way too big for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, just want to show you guys because I'm so excited. So I think it's available, I'm assuming at Furla, but also at Maya. I think it's like a special Maya timepiece, but absolutely love it. Someone is waking up from their nap. Hello, Baba. You say hello, everyone. Oh my gosh, you've got a red cheek. You've been sleeping in your cheek. Say hello. Turn this off. You had a good morning nap. Hello, Baba. Hello, Camilla. We're gonna get ready to go. Mm. <laughs> hello, Baba. All ready, all dressed. She's got her first tooth this week, everyone. So she's got a little bit of a sore. Oh my gosh, I cannot get that hair to sit down. Yeah, you all ready to go? She's wearing a cute little like knitted romper thing. This is actually just from Best and Less and these are from Pure Baby. All ready to go? <gasps> Resist smiles. Say mama. Mum, 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 mum. Mum, 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 mum. Okay, that was eventful. Thanks, bud. So, just finished up the auction. It's sold, so that's really good. Yep. It's like so much hotter than I thought today, too. The weather's been like, it's been really awful, really cold, terrible. Hasn't been very nice spring weather at all. And then today it's just like beautiful and warm and it's like 20 degrees which is so exciting but you know when you're like not prepared and you're just used to it being so crappy outside anyway so jack and i just took camilla as soon as we got there too i'm like i can smell something and i just changed her before we left so anyway she lasted and then i changed her when we got back to the car but why do they always do that like they just know when you're going somewhere or when you don't need them to do a dirty nappy. Anyway, we're off to get lunch now, aren't we? Lunch yeah. time? Yeah. Jackie wants yeah. to get some chips. Yeah. It's really hot. Are you hot in your jumper? No. I'll no. Be. Got the aircon on because it is hot. Um, yeah. Anyway, we'll get going. I'm wearing this um, shirt dress today from Zara, which I got, you would have seen like on my Queensland holiday vlog a few months ago. Um, love it. But it's been too cold to wear it, so I'm so excited to be able to wear like shirts and dresses and stuff. Oops, someone is calling me. Until she wakes up have a bit of an afternoon nap the Sun is literally so nice today like I was just saying earlier how the weather's been awful and then um, it's been so lovely like I just think this every year but it's just like so amazing what like nice weather does like how much it changes your whole like I just feel right now so like oh could do anything like what are we doing tonight like let's go do something fun like get outside get out and about like didn't want to just sit at home we were just like so keen um so harry came and met us for lunch after his after we finished work and then we yeah just like we we're gonna go home and then we we're like it's way too nice to just sit inside coco needed to go for a walk too so i was like let's go do something camilla can have her afternoon nap in the pram yeah and it's just like so nice um it just makes me so excited for spring and summer in our new house just getting out and doing things again like I think just because last year I spent this time of year pregnant and I was starting to get like more and more pregnant so I couldn't do as much stuff um, and then by the end of it I was just getting obviously really fatigued and tired and you can't yeah do your normal stuff so I think this year I'm just like so excited that I can actually get out and about a bit more and actually go out in the sunshine because I remember when I was pregnant I could go out for two seconds and then I was like okay I'm done it's way too hot Cokes. 
Where are you? Pokey, come here. Come here. Sit down. Pokey, hello. He's had a haircut yesterday. I actually hate it when he gets his hair cut because they do it so short and fluffy. Like he looks like the cutest little teddy bear before he got this done. And they always put these little ribbons on. But he needed his summer chop. Didn't you, Pop? Getting old now. Old boy. I think he's like eight, maybe nine now. You gonna go and have a kick, Jackie? Oh gosh, hang on. Little Missy is now <laughs> standing up trying to get everything. Um, we just got home from our walk. It was so, so lovely. Like, it's so nice outside today. Oh gosh, there goes the phone. <laughs> um, but I just want to show you um, a few little homewares bits that I've picked up for the new house. I'm just like starting to collect just little bits. Um, mostly because I just can't wait any longer. And I... She wants the lip gloss. I feel... Oh gosh, it's so melted from sitting in the car. I feel like if I'm picking up little bits here and there, it kind of makes me feel like I'm doing something. Anyway, I just quickly wanted to show you. Say hello. Hello. Hee <laughs> hee My gosh, the um, lighting's making your hair look like orange. It so doesn't look like <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first up, I wanted to get a few little photo frames and I've been wanting to collect some for a while. I'm not usually a huge like photo person that likes to have heaps of photos out on display. Not for, really for any reason, but in our last house, I just never really got around to, I think it's just because you've got to print photos off and then you pick one and I just never get around to doing a new one. So it's the same photo there for years and years. So anyway, I never had a heap around and I also don't like heaps of clutter and Sorry, um, the battery just cut out there, so I had to go and replace it. Anyway, so at the new house, obviously like now with Camilla and even like we've got a wedding coming up and I just feel like I want to get some really special little photos printed of like just special moments um, and just like pop them around the house and especially now in the, like where the fireplace is in the living room, we're having really nice like decorative shelving built either side of it and it's purely just for like decoration so I want to do some like really nice coffee table books and vases and flowers and candles and stuff like that um, plus I thought it would be a really great place to put little bits of photo frames and little memories and stuff so the other day firstly I picked up this one from like a really cute little gift shop and I love that it's square so usually you don't really see as many square photo frames but I thought it's really little as well like it's really cute um, so I love that that's also brass and all of our tapware and lots of our furniture and stuff is brass. So I thought that one was really cute, but for the house, I'm going for a lot of like warm tones, lots of different textures. Um, and I really want it to feel really homely and like cozy. So I want to do like a mixture of things. So I also picked this one up, which this is such a good quality as well. Photo frames can be so expensive and I actually just picked this up from Spotlight. So I got this this afternoon. It was $12. I think it's on sale for $12 at the moment. But Spotlight is one of my favorite places to just like mooch around and pick up odd... <coughs> yes, odd bits like this because some of the stuff in there is quite basic and like not really my style. But depending what your style is, they have so many good things. So, so I picked that one up and I just thought like I want to mix different like textures, tones, sizes like just to have around. So I thought that was really cute. I love the like kind of timbery look but it's quite um like antique -y. like tip um yeah is that the right word not antique -y, but like traditional kind of nice timber so that is where I got that one from then I went to Kmart and actually just picked up these are on sale at the moment heaps of these like mini little serving bowls I've I had a few of these for my baby shower last year so I wanted to pick up some more and these are like the slightly bigger size so I just got quite a few of those hey buddy Jack's waving to me from outside. They're just really handy to have for like serving platters, cheese boards, stuff like that. Or even when you're making like a roast. So absolutely love those. I think they were like $2 for a packet. Super good. And then I picked up these plates at Kmart. So one thing that I usually like, you can just pick up really good interior and home bits. And they don't have to be super expensive. Like you can get things affordably like Kmart, Spotlight, places Target have some good bits. You just have to know kind of what is your style and what is going to suit your house and how to mix and match things. So I think I've finally sort of come to what's really my style. Obviously, it's like very neutral, but it's a bit more like traditional, not super modern. 
definitely with this house, yes. This house is a lot more traditional, which you'll see. She loves to look at herself, which you'll see in the coming. Say hello. Say hi. Which you'll see like in the coming months as the house is finished. So I picked up two of these. These are little like serving plates from Kmart, but I just loved how cute's the little detail. So they're just quite long, but I thought two of them next to each other will look really nice if you're serving like vegetables, potatoes and stuff like that. Um, or even just like desserts. It would be really great for like Christmas time. But I just love hosting and I can't wait to like have friends and family over again. Like I loved doing that at our old house, but it was a bit out of town. So we didn't get to do it as much. So, and it was COVID. So I can't wait to do it in the new house. So they were really good. I think they were roughly $9 from memory. So they were really good. I picked this one up from Target. But, so, I'm wanting to get obviously more into cooking and stuff too. So, one of the most things that I'm most excited for in the new house is our new kitchen. It's like a proper cooking kitchen. Like, it has everything that you could want. I'm so excited. Our last kitchen just was quite old school basic. It didn't have a pantry. It didn't have a dishwasher. It didn't have much bench space or storage. So, things were just everywhere. It was really hard to cook and do proper things in the kitchen because you had to, if you wanted like one plate, you had to get all the stuff out from in front of it to be able to get behind. Same with like pantry stuff. So it was so hard. So I'm so excited to do like organization and pantry organization, like in tubs and containers, but cooking as well. So I've always wanted to get one of those tiny little marble sort of bowls to put some salt in by the um, oven. So I saw this really cute one on Pinterest the other day and it was like a little white bowl and had a gorgeous little brass, like a mini spoon. And I loved it. And like you can just, when you're cooking, pop some salt on. Um, so I had a look online and then I saw these ones at Target. So I think like Provincial Home or um, might have been Pottery Barn. Or William Sonoma, somewhere else, had the basically identical ones, and th they were $89. Oh no, I know where it was, sorry, Country Road. Country Road had them. Then I saw these at Target, they're like little marble ones. So cute. And the, um, there's also plain white ones, but I picked the one with like a bit of grain. Just these cute little ones, they were $12. So much, like so affordable and so much better than paying like $70. So to get some really cute little salt. And I just want to look online, maybe in Amazon, somewhere we'll have like a cute little brass spoon. I just thought that looked so cute to go next to. Like I've got like a little, <laughs> oh, she's biting my leg. She's got one half of a tooth that she just got this week. Are you biting me? Um at sorry i don't even know what i was saying oh yeah next to the oven like i've got this cute little canister thing with like the wooden spoon and stuff next to it so i thought that would look really cute sitting next to it maybe even like get some olive oil in like oh sorry yeah olive oil or like a salt grinder as well pepper um but yeah That'll be perfect. What else did I get? I got this little frame as well. I've got three photo frames. This one from um, Kmart. It's a bit more like, that's why I got the other timber one because this one's a bit more like too modern, but I thought if I mixed it in, it would be okay. Another cute little square one. Then I also went to the chemist. This isn't exciting, but I just thought I would share. I wanted to get like a mini hairbrush to pop in my bag um, just to have out and about. So I just picked this cheap one up. Same as this. I just wanted to get like a spray bottle when I'm using my Dyson Air Wrap. So if you've got a Dyson, you'll know that it usually works better to do a bit of a blow wave on wet hair, like sort of semi-wet towel dried hair. But it's not always practical because it takes so long, especially with a baby now. It's not as practical to get up, have a shower, wash your hair, then do the air up all in the same day, all in the same sequence. Sometimes I just don't have as much time. So I would like to be able to wash and dry my hair the night before, like dry it just straight or air dry it during the day. And then later on or the next day, hopefully, all I have to do is like have a shower and then spray, spray my hair and then just do the air wrap, like just style it. So I'm sort of not doing both at once, but just need a bit more need to manage my time a lot better now. So I thought that would be super handy. So if you're on the lookout, this, I just thought that was a really good one from Chemist Warehouse. Also, it's a great idea because sometimes when you're doing the air wrap, so I usually like section this half up, clip it up and do this half. And whilst I'm doing this half, this half's nearly dried. So like, yeah, you kind of want to like spritz it just to get a bit more, um, get it a bit more wet. So anyway, that's my little homewares slash chemist haul for today. We're gonna go and have some dinner. What else are we doing? Uncle Jack's outside. It's like daylight savings here now, so it's so light outside, which is great. He's out there kicking the footy. 
Hi. <laughs> and we're going to go have a play. What are we going to do? We're going to go have dinner and have a bottle. You say bye bye. We've been practicing waving. She's like looking around like, who am I waving to? <laughs> you wave. Camilla say bye bye. Bye bye. Boy. Hey. Hi guys. <laughs> it's Paige again. <laughs> We're just heading off to the house um, for a quick look at today's update. It's become one of our favourite things to do is go every night to see if they've done anything. Um, oh, nice sunset. It's such a nice day here today. It was like, what do you reckon? I don't know. Like, <laughs> yeah. Getting quite, no, but it was quite nice. Oh, it's beautiful. Um, so we're going to the house for a quick look and then we're actually heading to the gym. I know, like who are we? <laughs> We've been trying to get back into like a good fitness sort of routine for like just weeks. I just, we were really good. We signed up to the gym a few months ago. We started going. It's obviously quite hard for us to both go at the same time, um, like with a baby, but my mum's got Camilla at the moment, so we thought we'd just quickly go. We've had dinner and today was actually my first day back at work. Um, it was like so much more emotional and harder than I ever thought it would be. Like I didn't expect, I just didn't expect that I was going to feel like lots of feelings and like I just felt really guilty and just, I don't even know how to explain how I feel. I'm sure if there's other mums or dads watching, they will totally get what I'm talking about. Um, so I think I already mentioned earlier in the vlog, but I'm going back for two days a week, just like try it out, see how it goes. Um, and I really love, I think why I'm also feeling really conflicted is if you're someone that like has a really good career that you really love or a job, like I really genuinely like my job. Like, don't you think it would be a lot, it must be really hard for people that have built up this career for like years and they've studied and whatever. Um, and then you have a baby or start a family and you feel really conflicted because you want to be with your family and be with your baby but you also want to be working and doing something for yourself and I think you just feel a little bit guilty for wanting that part all to yourself like you want to work on yourself or do something for you so anyway day one down and it was totally fun like it was great um, but I was saying to my um, boss today like I feel like I had to use a part of my brain that I haven't used for a while like you just sort of go into mum mode and you're using your brain obviously but but yeah it just felt like I because I work in like marketing but like kind of it's in a corporate environment so corporate looking over like policies and documents and policy structures and stuff like that I was just having a browse over today and I was like I feel exhausted just from reading this um, and like I used to do that stuff oh gosh our driveway is so bumpy with total ease <laughs> so anyway it was very funny just trying to use my brain um but we're at the house now okay sorry just ran out of um battery there for a second so yeah we just pulled up at the house it's such a nice night i don't know if you can see no, not really showing it um so yeah we just thought we'd come what do you think they've kind of done today um uh, hopefully really. hopefully they've started on camilla's room they've got all the cabinetry here and it's sort of ready to go but um they haven't actually started putting it in yet so we'll see Okay, we were right. So exciting, Camilla's wardrobes have started going in. So this is probably the last part of the reno that they, like the cabinetry um, that they've started on. It's looking so good. What do you think? Love it. It's... So nice. It's just nice to see it actually come together. Like you have it in your head, how it's gonna look. I love how, oh, and that's all like um, silicon thin around the fireplace. Yeah. It's probably hard to see in here. It's it is. The Once windows. we get the lighting in, the whole place will There's look no so much better as well. The windows are covered. Um, between, like, I don't know how to explain it, but here and... Oh, that's going to need to get touched up with paint. Between here and the wall, like, there's not that much room, so they obviously have to bring the cupboards out. But it actually looks nicer than I thought around the mantle. Mm. Because it fits, like, in. I thought it was going to look a bit funny, like, coming out past the fireplace. I yeah, love it. I think great. it looks so nice. Like that's such a nice feature for a little girl's room. And then, so it's a bit different. One side's got, I'm pretty sure. So this is hanging shelves, sh shelves, I think. Mm -hmm. And then drawers, extra cupboards, 
that this one's got lung hanging. But what I did was I put two rails in there. The rails that I've used are actually really good ones. We use these in uh, our previous house as well, in the wardrobe. You can take them out. So you probably, if you've seen my other wardrobe video. But, so my thought was, at the moment, Camilla can use two hanging. But say when you're older or when she's got like dresses, longer things that don't, you don't want to, you can take that bottom one out and have long hanging, short hanging here, and some more drawers. I just think these would be really good for like little baskets, pop some things in, and the top ones, they're quite deep, like that's quite a big um, cover, like shelf up there. That's obviously a long one, so I think that would be also really good for some big baskets. Storage, I don't know. What do you reckon? Like suitcases. Even, yeah, suitcases. Even stuff that like she's growing out of. Um, yeah, I was just saying to Harry, I love, I'm really glad we didn't go all the way to the ceiling. Because that was quite, it was like a bit of a conversation, but from a design point, I still wanted to be able to see the ceiling. Um, and the... The corners. Yeah, the corners. And in this room, it's hard to tell. Probably see it better in the other rooms, but the corners is like really detailed and it's really pretty. It's got like little roses on it which I think is so lovely um, and it's really hard to match so we didn't want to have to do like wreck the corners I guess <laughs> if that makes sense but then you can probably see better out here our room hasn't really had anything the wardrobe is looking good the bathroom is nearly ready to sort of start we're just waiting on some panelling yeah so the panelling for the wall it's sort of going to go I don't know about this high, we're waiting for that. They can't really start anything until that comes in. Can't really see anything in here. I think this is my favourite part of the whole, um, like just this whole space. I think, I don't know, I just think, so this is going to have some shelving, which I can't wait to decorate. Okay. <laughs> some shelves, which I can't wait to decorate. You guys can probably picture like what I'm thinking. Coffee table books, candles, um, yeah, just like little photos. That's for the photo frames I was talking about. These are going to go on here. This is our favourite as well, isn't it? That's my favourite. Yeah, so we've got a new TV, which we're so excited about. We've got a Samsung frame TV. Did we end up getting the bezel? Has that come yet? No. Still doesn't arrive. Well, I haven't been. You, they would yeah. tell you if it did. Yeah, I guess. Anyway, um, we've got a Samsung frame TV with a little oak timber frame. But the best thing about that is We've got everything hooked through, so in the cupboard will be all of the like PlayStation, the boxes, TV cords, so it's only got one cord. So we'll be able to have it hanging up nicely. I really hope we're ready for Christmas because it's like my absolute dream to be able to have like a fireplace. We can put stockings um, just for Christmas. Where And also, where are we going to put our tree? Do you think like in the corner maybe? In the corner, maybe? definitely. Couch? Definitely. Although, I don't know how that works with the baby. Coming the tree, she's definitely going like, to try and pull it down. Yeah, kitchen is coming together. Uh, yeah, need to come back during the day. It's obviously very dark, but you kind of get the idea. I do have some clips I'll overlay that I took on the weekend, and it's actually light. Oh, we've got light, one light. Wow. So, yeah, I also need to finalize the pendants. But, um, yeah, it's coming along. There's a quick little sneak peek of the laundry this little cupboard, which we just added this late to the design, um, late to the plan, sorry, which is so exciting. This is just like a fake panel because we needed to be able to put the underfloor heating in there. So from the front, you won't actually know it's gonna look identical, but yeah, coming along nicely.